I'm blessed to eat every food. The water that I drink is good for me to eat. I'm taking those promises which is in my heart and the promises are speaking to me. Those promises that are in my heart is giving birth to that voice that is coming to me. And it is giving me that birth of the first action of faith which is confession. Then it is giving me another birth to physically eat that food. You see how it is? One birth to another one. One step to another step. And your manifestation is becoming more and more real. Praise God. We learnt in, in, the, in the afternoon, there, are, there is one thing to... Uh, faith without action is dead and works without faith is also dead. So both is required. Faith that is born from a promise, from grace in your heart, that will always produce the right action, the correct action. And we got to have this combination both. And that combination of that right action has to be from the promise. So the promise is what you're holding right now. And you just heard the sister uh, Fiona now preaching. Uh, she took a scripture actually. Every promise of God is a yes and an amen. Okay, that's one of my favorite scripture. I got touched with that scripture. And it had to do with food itself. Praise God. It might sound really funny, but when, when I first went for a, a, you know, for a meeting, it was end of a meeting, and I went with an intention that this brother should pray for me. And he kept his hand on my stomach, and he made a five-second prayer. And all I heard is, something saying rebuke end of it he said amen praise God now it did not make sense to me by just saying five second prayer and my job is done but on the same day they, off they, they called me for a tea okay and they offered me a samosa now with that kind of problem that I was going through in digestion, forget about samosa. Sandwich would not tolerate. Just simple plain sandwich would not tolerate. Samosa is mixed with masala. And he said to me, this brother, Brother Johnson, he said to me, I prayed, right? I said, yeah. So have that samosa. And then he said, you said amen, right? I am like, what is Amen got to do with this samosa? What is Amen got to do with this samosa? Does not make sense. Now this man of God is saying, right? Something gave me that confidence to depend on that person's faith. And with that faith, I had a bite of the samosa. And I had the whole samosa. And after that I had tea also which I don't prefer but I had but that day there was no stomach problem praise God so my mind is now thinking what is amen got to do with my food for, for a long time I did not know this scripture and I really did not know what is what it means to be saying amen Praise God. Amen means what God has done from His side, it's a yes. When I say Amen, I agree that what He's done is applicable for me. And my response to what He's done, when I say Amen to Him, there comes a birth. Praise God. And that became the, the, the very, very, uh, the first scripture that I really studied because I, I, am, I, I was a person, I still go, uh, church going sometimes twice, thrice for, a, for the mass. 
and i don't know how many times i must have said amen but i never really understood what is that real amen praise god uh 2 corinthians 120 see this for all the promises of god in him for all the promise of god promises of god in him are yes that ye is yes okay and in him amen unto the glory of god by us for all the promises not some but all the promises of god in him that in him is christ r yes praise god so when i am eating some kind of food which says it's not good for me from god side he said every food is good that means there's this promise that is sealed by the blood of jesus and has given to me as a free gift in the form of grace even though i don't deserve it so when i take this promise and i look at the food which is talking to me i talk back to the food and i say i have a promise from god and that promise says every food is good for me to eat and you are good for me to eat and i tell my digestive system you better digest this food and you are blessed praise god and i also tell my immune system there is no more confusion in you you are working for me not against me praise god you know what is indigestion where your own immune system is fighting in your in your own body against you so when you talk to your immune system with the promise of god that you are healed there comes a birth of another action of faith you talk to your immune system you are sound you are healed you are healthy working for me not against me praise god so you keep speaking to different situation with the grace of god and that's that's why it is written all promises of god are yes and in him amen now from god side it is sealed with the blood it is done it is an amen what are you waiting for the moment you say with understanding amen you agree that promise is for me even though i don't deserve it praise god so when you take anything that that you wrote uh in your in your books that scripture spoke to me but i went deep in in that scripture that's why it's so very alive as i'm speaking i still imagine that samosa in front of me i i still imagine that it becomes it has become a part of me that whole testimony has become part of me praise god each one of us has a journey each one has a testimony when the test come when the trial comes the trial is not come for your good but what you do in the midst of the trial you insert that promise of god and you change that you allow the promise of god to change that test into a testimony that's how it works praise god you use every weapon available with you one of the weapon is simply praying in tongues and you ch- change that situation into a testimony praise god because every promise of god is a yes and an amen in christ jesus that's how it works and that's how you fight it we are all at war whether we like it or not we are all in the spiritual realm in a war always praise god either we have only two choices either be friends with the world because the war is always against the worldly things 
and when you have when when you are friends with this world some day the world will eat you up is better i remain friends with jesus so that this jesus gives me this strength called grace and with that grace i can stand victorious every moment of my life praise the lord that's why this this scripture says it's a yes from his side he is waiting when will i respond with my yes with understanding praise god so you make a decision to sincerely let it come from your heart take a look at the scripture that spoke to you in could be just a word go deep it sounded like a very simple statement or uh, uh, but it's the is the alive a living word of god that keeps piercing my heart till today praise god hallelujah thank you jesus you know we can go on and on and on on this one because this is my favorite scripture but we'll pray in tongues now look at the scripture look at something that has touched you if you, if it's in your in your heart don't have to look at your book but meditate on it praise god let it be engrafted in your life let it speak to you praise god thank you jesus okay let's begin shikhara kharanda rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de shikhara kharanda rakha de rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de shikhara kharanda rakha de rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de hana hana shikhara kharanda rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de shikhara kharanda rakha de rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de shikhara kharanda rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de rakhe de shikhara hana 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 shikhara khara de rakhe 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 de